one. Loves Johnny so much. The thought of him leaving just feels like the first week again. But this time, I can't bring him back. I'm sorry, but I have to send home Sione. Sorry, Sione. You are not the biggest loser. Are you okay? I left a letter. Felipe. We both know that this is an almost impossible vote to win. This was not only just about us. We were inspired a nation. Our nation. The Tongan people. We get up every morning and make the commitment to be the best. I want to hear that you want to challenge. Kick everyone's butt here and be the biggest loser. I love you, bro. I always will. Tiona just wasn't a partner, he's my family. He believed in me even when I couldn't believe in myself. Now that he's gone, it just it sucks. I feel it's like my opportunity now to represent not only me, but him for my family. Be the fierce competitor that I know I can be. I'm so sick and tired of watching finales and seeing Jillian win. Bob deserves it. And you know what? He loves your dad. This is going to be an epic battle. I mean, Jillian and her team are not easy to beat. Yeah. Jillian has not lost a single player in seven weeks. And if we want this bad enough, we are going to have to fight for it. I'll fight. I'll fight till I'm out of breath. I'll run till I can't run no more. I'll walk till my knees collapse. I'm not going to let them down. I know for a fact I'm not going to let them down. The game is on. with all of our colored flags with wires just running right across. And all I know is that it looks extremely frightening. Each of you will cross from one side of the canyon to the other with only the use of two cables. It's not going to be easy. It is 700 feet from one end to the other. And at its highest point, it's 110 feet in the air, which is basically a 10-story building. Oh my god. <laughs> if we fall, we die. Oh Allison kind of confirmed my worst fears today. I've been afraid of heights for as long as I can remember. It's really, really, really bad. I mean, I won't go on top of ladders, and right now I have to traverse a canyon on a zip line. 
The winner of today's challenge wins a $25,000 kitchen makeover, and we will completely restock your refrigerator with all the healthy options to fit in with your new healthy lifestyle, courtesy of Jenny O. Turkey. Wow. What? Oh my gosh. All right. So then I think we should get started. All Let's right. do this. I'm nervous. This is crazy. Look at that. 110 feet drop. Are you kidding me? This is nuts. <laughs> Who does this? Like, as if what we go through isn't enough, you have to do something like this to us? These are twisted. Doing this for Sean. I want to tighten these leg straps in the bag. The legs stay lower. You can tighten anything you want. Unless you're standing where I'm standing, you have no idea how high this is and how long it looks. I mean, this is a lot scarier in person. TV will never do this canyon justice. All right, everyone, get into position. On your mark. Get set. Oh, Go. The only thing that's going through my mind is I'm gonna die. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna fall 110 feet to my death and die on the biggest loser. Once they got us started, uh, my knee was killing me going sideways. I stopped after about the first 40 feet. You know, at that point, you're not gonna come in first. You have a risk of hurting yourself. So I elected just to call it quits. They're going. Everyone but Ron is off to a good start. Allison says go, and I'm just I'm going as fast as I can. And for me, it just seemed really easy. <sighs> Ellen losing her feet. She can't find her center. This is not easy. You're swaying. It's hard to balance. And there's wind. Felipe takes an early lead. Kristen and Tara fighting for third place behind Mike and Felipe. Tara, the first one to fall <laughs> off. She completely loses her feet. <laughs> She's dangling, trying to find her way back onto the wire. Sure enough, there goes the rope, and I fell. I don't have that much upper body strength, so I couldn't even, like, lower the rope to throw my leg up. I looked back, Kara fell off, and so I took the advantage of just taking the lead. <gasps> I just kept on thinking to myself, try again. I don't want to fail. Felipe with a significant lead on everyone so far. Tara is still struggling. She can't find her way back onto the cable. There she gets her feet back. Slowly but steadily, she's managing to hold onto her balance, but not making much progress. Felipe is still powering along. Mike's still doing well. Kristen in third place. Tara desperately wanting to move fast, but she can't seem to hold onto her cable. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I thought I'd be standing on the platform while everybody else is halfway across the canyon by now. Looks like Felipe is channeling Sione. He's got a good, strong lead in this competition. Let's see if he can hold on to it. Tara's moving up, making some progress. She's about to take Mike out of second place. I had a strategy, and it was a glide step, glide step. Kept on saying it. Glide, glide. And the more I said it, the more focused I became. And then I see Felipe ahead. And I'm thinking, maybe I should go a little faster. Maybe I can actually do this. Tara's figured it out. She's got it working for her. And she is trying to catch up with Felipe. I can see that I'm falling further and further behind. But I am screaming on the inside. Go, Felipe, go, because this would be the most amazing moment for him. Felipe is aiming for his first victory in a challenge. When I saw the terror catching up with me, I just had to try to increase my pace. Boy, her pace was fast. Tara, she sees Felipe, and she is gaining on him. I look up, and I see that blue shirt. Tara catching up to Felipe. We are about to have a horse race here. Normally, it's Sione, but today, it's Felipe. He wants this. So bad, and yet Tara is gaining ground. She might take the lead here. Felipe sees her, and he is hustling. Felipe has a slight lead on Tara. He's just got to hang on to it. They are neck and neck coming into the finish here. We've got another 100 feet left.
coming up. Congratulations, this is Makeover Week. <laughs> the contestants continue their incredible transformations, and you won't believe the results. Oh my god, this is gorgeous! Felipe. I can't believe I'm doing this. I lost almost an entire minute. Tara can't see what her competition is doing. They are neck and neck. Felipe knows where he stands. He has got to make some progress. I got near the end that I could see here right in front of me. So I knew that if I slowed down one second. Tara with the lead now. She has taken the lead from Felipe. She has two steps from finishing and that's it. Felipe, frustrated. As soon as I see you cross the line, I let go of my line and just let it go. I was just so down that all that hard work came to an end. Felipe drops the rope. Tara took the lead from him with 10 feet left. Helen about to finish. She's hustling her way to the end. Getting to the finish line in this challenge was absolutely amazing. I never thought I'd get there. I'm the proudest I've been in any challenge. Kristen, way to be. Come on, Laura. I just kept thinking to myself, I'm not quitting. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to finish this race. I'm going to touch that yellow flag if it kills me. You got it, Laura. You did it. Nice job, Laura. Good job. So congratulations. You're walking away with a $25,000 kitchen makeover, including completely redoing everything in your kitchen so that you have healthy foods to go along with your new healthy lifestyle, courtesy of Jenny O. Turkey. That's so much fun. But Tara isn't the only one who is getting a makeover. You guys, congratulations. This is makeover week. You are in for a good one. I need a haircut! <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. We have some special surprises in store for you this week, so get ready to enjoy it. All right. Bye. See you soon. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Makeover! I'm excited to get an amazing haircut and to get some new clothes and just to finally feel good about myself. I haven't taken care of me on the outside because I was always ashamed. And now it's going to be fun. I think back. Uh, previous seasons to The Biggest Loser. Like, this is a big deal to make it this far. It really is. It's gonna be a visualization of how far we've all come. Like, I'm excited. If they shave my head for the makeover, I won't have to work out the rest of the week. That's three to five pounds right there of hair. <laughs> I just love it. I love The Biggest Loser. into Macy's today, we have no idea what's gonna happen, but we're super excited because we know it's makeover week. As we walk up, I see the back of this stylish man in a pinstripe suit, and I'm thinking, is that a sample perfume man?
<laughs> Good morning, everybody. All of a sudden, this guy turns around and it's Tim Gunn. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love Tim Gunn. I mean, Tim Gunn is absolutely amazing, and I just am so happy because it's Tim Gunn. He has such great style, and he just looked good. I mean, can we just see? Like, he just looks sharp. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm Tim Gunn, and I want to welcome you to Macy's. Thank you. I want to congratulate you on these incredible new bodies that you have, and we're going to begin a whole makeover with you. And I'm here to help guide you. I'm here to help nurture you. You're going to get your fashion right. <laughs> we're going to have fun. This should be joyous. And I have a very special surprise. Oh, my. You're going to be dressing for a Hollywood movie premiere. Oh. <laughs> I'm from the Midwest, okay? Things like this just don't happen. Like, this is really unbelievable. Shopping for an entirely new body is, by definition, an emotional experience. On the one hand, you can think, oh, what joy and rapture this must be to suddenly have this whole world of fashion available to you. On the other hand, it's terrifying. 140 pounds ago when I was shopping, it was just settling for clothes that looked OK because I was so big that there was nothing that I like enjoyed putting on because you know, I just felt that I didn't look good in anything. Anything you really don't like, um, pink. Okay. I don't. I don't want to wear pink. Well, I'm I sorry. can. <laughs> That's fine. Let's try on this one. Look at some shirt options. There are a lot of them. Show me what tie you'd wear with that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Good choice. See, you do know what you're doing. So tell me what you're responding to. What do you like? This would be like. A daring departure. Completely. Really? I'll be exposed. Well, how do you feel about that? I'm not sure if I'm ready to flaunt it or not. Well, I don't know that your brain is fully adjusted to the new no, you. No, no. It's a recalibration of one's thinking about oneself, to be perfectly honest. But it's time for you to start doing that. I know. I'd like you to feel comfortable and confident about taking some risks here and trying some things that maybe you wouldn't normally do. Which Like color? Like color, like a little more skin. A little more skin. Family show. <laughs> Not Family that show. much skin. Back in my modeling days, putting on a dress was fun for me. It wasn't fun for the past two years because I never felt good about myself in the dress. And I'm excited now. I'm excited for this movie premiere. I'm looking forward to something. So this really is a whole new world for you. Yes, this is very overwhelming for me. Mm -hmm. I, um, I look around and it's like, you know, things that I, were untouchable before for me. It's a whole new vocabulary. I'm just looking around going, that's really pretty, that's really pretty, but I still feel like it's untouchable, you know? It's not. I know. <laughs> I know it's not. it's not. It's happening. And I did this. I made the change. I've walked past those dresses way too many times now. I'm walking right into them. And when was the last yes. time you got dressed up to go out? It's been so long. I'm gonna help you with this. Thank you. I'm gonna help you. And it's you're gonna be absolutely fabulous as you are now. Thank you. Oh, look at us. 
in all of our outfits. Beautiful, amazing. I took a double take. I couldn't believe that that was my dress, a dress that a 24-year-old girl should be wearing. That's so pretty. You're just going to knock everybody's socks off. It's like a whole new me to get dressed up head to toe, new body and all. I can't wait. I'm so proud of each of you. It's really, really, really thrilling. I saw that dress. I saw a new life for me, a new future. You're going to find a surprise in your bag. There is a Macy's gift card for each of you in the amount of $1,000. Oh, my God! Nothing I own at home fits me anymore. This is going to help out a lot. <laughs> Those fashion kisses yes. can oh, be you. difficult. I'm thank so you so excited. much. This is a huge day for us. We just got done shopping at Macy's with Tim Gunn. Now we're here at Warren Jacomi Salon in LA. I'm so excited. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Warren Jacomi LA. How are you? Yeah. I'm so excited to make you over. You've come such a long way, and it's so amazing and inspiring what you've done. Now the last component is change how you look, so maybe that'll help change how you feel. So you guys trust Brandon and I? Oh, yeah. 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 All right, come on. Let's go. Let's go get started. I'm do psyched. It. You know what I want to do, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I love the texture of your hair, but I'm going to cut it off. OK, OK, OK. Right. Hey, it's only hair, right? All right, here we go. What are you doing, Tara? Are you going to go blonder? I'm going to hate you if you do. Laura is just freaking out about her. I know. Color. It's pretty funny. Just give me a buzz cut. I don't care. <laughs> I just want my hair gone. We kind of get them out of their old habits, because just like eating the food, you want to get out of the old habits of your hair. It's time to kind of embrace all the changes you've made and look at yourself totally differently. Coming up, the stars arrive in style to their Hollywood premiere, and they're surprised by some very special guests. <laughs> they're gorgeous! Oh my God. But for one family member, it's too much to handle. I'm Tabitha. Here's a great hair tip. If you pull your hair away from your face, it will actually make your face look thinner. It will expose your cheekbones. It actually is an instant lift to the face. It makes you look much younger and can make your face look much thinner. I'm Helen's husband, and she has no idea I'm here. Tonight, Helen believes she's at a movie premiere, but it's actually Helen's premiere. It's her makeover, it's her night, and I am just overwhelmed at this opportunity. You guys have no idea what I'm waiting for. You have no idea how much this means to me. It's been so long, I just can't wait. It's just. I just want to hold her in my arms one more time. <laughs> Russell, hi. It's you. Oh my God. Look at you. I was just blown away. 
And my husband gives me this big hug, and he's just like, oh my God, honey, you're so beautiful. <laughs> look how beautiful you are. Oh my God, look at you. Oh my God, I don't even I know how much this means. <laughs> Him telling me that, I feel beautiful. I actually feel beautiful today. And I haven't felt that in a really long time. How much have you lost? A total of 80, 88 pounds. <laughs> oh my God, really? 88 pounds. Oh, I did it for us. I know. You know, I did, I know. I did this We're going to have a life together now. We're going to have a great life. It's a now. long one. Are you OK? Yeah. I'm, I can't be any better than I am right now. Seeing my wife for the first time in a long time is just amazing. Just to see her pretty face again, she's a dream come true. I love you. <laughs>
gave her that first big hug, I realized I was hugging like half of what I normally hug. This is no longer the Laura I knew, you know, months ago. This is a totally different person. And she's, she looks wonderful. She looks really amazing. God, I can't believe oh you're here. here. <laughs> I was just so excited to see Monica. I mean, Monica has been my best friend since we were born. I get a makeover and my best friend gets to come. That's awesome. You look unbelievable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. Come here. The big question was, was he going to have the beard or not? As long as I've known Ron, he's had that beard. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> I was shocked that he let them shave it, and I think it looks great. <laughs> How are you? Oh, you look so good. You look good, dude. We walked down the stairs, and there's my wife and my other son, Max, and it was just so great to see him. I mean, I miss him so much. Look at you. I lost 122 pounds so far. Oh like I said, I've been in 40 years. You look so different. <laughs> What's the matter? Nothing. I'm glad you're here. I think with Max, it, it's a mixed reaction because I think that he's so happy for his dad, but I think he wishes that he could be experiencing the same thing. Let's look, we'll see what Mike looks like. You guys will be amazed. Be amazed. <laughs> oh my gosh! I walked down the stairs, and my mom, brother, and dad were there. And seeing them was absolutely phenomenal. Michael looks like a movie star to me. I am so happy for him. You just want everything for your kids, and now he has everything. He's the whole package. He's amazing. I'm so proud of you. So glad you guys are here. When I saw my brother, I was just amazed. I couldn't believe how good he looks. It was just hard to, like, take in him. But I was happy, like, beyond belief. You OK? You sure? Why are you crying, Max? Only big ones. Max, it doesn't mean you don't fit into the family. Yeah. It doesn't, it just... I felt like I was, like, left out just because I'm so big, and then... I just haven't really, like, done anything about it. You don't have to feel left out or anything like that. Dad and I are coming back, and we're going to get you like this, too. You're going to get there. You're going to be able to do it. Don't worry. You know, I really wanted to talk to Max. So you know, my mom and dad went inside, and uh, I kind of chilled with Max on the steps for a little bit. I understand how you're feeling. It was there. I mean, you feel helpless, right? Yeah, I'm only just turned 17, and I'm beginning. Just breathe. I was just, I'm just bigger than you were. It's not like you're stuck like that. I mean, that's one thing, you know, everyone's learned from being here, is that you have the ability to change no matter what your situation. I'm trying. Yeah, and you're going to be able to do it. I know I see you, and I just want to be like you. I just want to be seen as norm normal. We've both tried losing weight before at home. It's hard. I mean, 15 weeks ago, I thought it was impossible to make this big of a change. I didn't think I'd get here. I didn't think I'd lose this much weight. Imagine what you can do in just as long. I mean, you're gonna be amazing. And you have the drive, now you just need the tools.
And when Dad and I come home, that's what we'll give you. You know? <laughs> He's an amazing brother. He'd do anything for me. They're gonna come home and show me how to do everything and how to lose the weight and keep it off. So, it inspires me and gives me hope to do what they do. The difference between Max and I's situation and weight loss is that I was lucky enough to be on The Biggest Loser, honestly. And not everyone has that, but no one needs this show to lose weight. I mean, if you're waiting for a Biggest Loser moment to happen, it's probably not going to. And the best part is, you know, you don't need the show to lose weight and be healthy. And my brother needs to realize that. He wants to lose weight, he really does. And I just wanted to let him know that I'm always gonna be there for him and he'll change, we'll make the change. Let's go find mom and dad. We're here at the LA Theater for a movie premiere, and we get to walk the red carpet. Ease here, Access Hollywood, OK Magazine, and it's kind of a trip to be out here being interviewed as celebrities. Wow. Yeah. Walking the red carpet, I mean, God, how exciting. I mean, this is Hollywood, <laughs> and I'm living a dream. thought we were going to a Hollywood movie premiere. We're all looking around going, this is about us. Season seven is literally the biggest season of Biggest Loser history. I just made the freaking show! <laughs> My name is Felipe. My name is Sione. And we're first cousins. Well, I see myself on screen, I'm like, what's going on here? And it was a movie about our journey so far. And it was just great. It was awesome. Our parents are from the island of Tonga in the South Pacific, and weight is a big thing to us. It becomes a part of the culture where it's, it's normal to be big. In fact, if you're skinny, uh, you're kind of frowned upon. I'm Shannon, and this is my mom, Helen. Oh my we God. want to lose weight so bad that we would make dates. This Monday, we would start our diet. We never started diets. Never. This is our Monday for us. I was shocked. I was like, look at that. Look at this woman. This woman no longer exists. Kristen, your starting weight is 360 pounds. You are officially the heaviest woman we have ever had on The Biggest Loser. By 62 pounds. When I look into the face of the person that I used to be, I don't see that sparkle. It's like a bittersweet moment. In some ways, I'm kind of sad that I've, I've wasted so many years. I spent so many years living as that person when I could have been this person all along. 
The green team starts off with a combined total of 579 pounds. Oh my God. <laughs> Watching myself step on the scale the first week and seeing the 294 pop up, it made me sad. And it's looking at myself and just saying, wow, Tara, you were really unhappy. You don't become 294 pounds by accident. And I realize that now. I'm going to change because of all of you and because of what's in here. Let me explain something to you. When your lips turn blue, then you're going to pass out. OK? But you're not going to die. No oh, good. Is this it? Step up. When I saw myself on that big screen and how I looked 15 weeks ago, I was in total amazement. Get some air. I can't stop. I have changed so much. The old Laura from 15 weeks ago is gone. Mikey, you OK? Ron, your son's grown up in this house, you know that? He has. I'm proud of him. He's doing great. You know, as a dad, you just wanted to go up there and run up and help. But as a teammate, I'm so proud of Michael. He pushes through the pain. And you know, when he's hurting like that, uh, so you just had to sit there and watch and go through the pain with him. We got to get through this day. You know why we got to get through this day? Because your dad needs you. This is his last ditch effort. I mean, what is there left for him to do if he's not able to stay in this house, Mikey? If Ron wasn't in this house right now, he could be on a road to death. Normally, you're watching a movie, and you're trying to live through the characters. But we are the characters in this movie. And being able to share that with our families and just kind of giving them a more personal glimpse of what we do and how we are is amazing. If I could say anything to anybody who wants to change their life, I want to let them know that you can do it. It all is inside of you. Don't waste any more time. If you want to change your life, do it and do it now. This experience has been the most amazing thing in my life. It's given me a second chance at my life. Oh, honey. Are you who you always said you would be with a sinking feeling in your chest? This whole experience has been amazing. I just feel so alive. The Felipe 15 weeks ago compared to now is a lot more happier, a lot more driven, and just ready to get out there and chase the world. Oh. <laughs> I know this is going to be a life-changing experience. This weight's never going to come back. It's not about winning a game show. It's about changing what's broken in your life. I would have never in a million years realized how strong I am and how it's OK to be vulnerable. And in that vulnerability, you realize just how tough you are. Yeah. 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 15 weeks ago, I got to campus. I was 388 pounds. Now, I'm 248 pounds. And I know that anything I set my mind to, I can do. The Biggest Loser has been the single greatest experience of my life. It was a truly unique day. It's going to be a day that I'll never, ever forget, ever. This is just the beginning of the new life that I've been dreaming of. It just feels so good to know that I've come so far. I think that this day and this journey has shown me that I have the ability, that I have the confidence, that I have everything I need. I have all the right tools to make it to the end of this.
tonight in the first hour of The Biggest Loser. Tara made a remarkable comeback to win her 10th challenge of the season. And congratulations, this is Makeover Week. Makeover Week sent the contestants on a wild ride full of surprises. Ah! Oh my God. <laughs> Coming up, an injury rocks the Biggest Loser campus. I've never gotten news like this before from Dr. Azaga. Tara looks like she stepped out of a magazine. You know, Helen's hair looks so good. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up, Bob? Hey, Bob? So I walked into the house to get my team for their last chance workout. They look amazing from their makeovers. But we've got a lot of time to make up. And this last chance workout is going to have to be brutal. Do you feel like the workouts were just kind of so random and few yeah. and far between? Oh, Don't you feel like? Not, it was tough not to get workouts in. It really was. Well, I think that's why this last chance workout is going to be more important than ever, don't you think? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. All right. Save up your sandwiches for after the workout. Let's go get this last chance workout in. OK. All right. All right, guys, last chance workout. All right. The downfall of the makeover week is that there is no time to work out. Nobody's going home this week. They're under hair dryers where they should be on a treadmill. Kristen, still the biggest girl in the house, right? Yes, sir. Biggest girl in the house means biggest threat in the house. You get anywhere near that yellow line, where are you going? Going home. You're going on that plane, aren't you? Yes, sir. Last chance workout is like life or death for us. You know, this will end our journey if we do not give it everything we've got. Up. <laughs> Last chance workout. Let's go, Kristen. Five. Last night was a fairy tale. I felt like Cinderella. And now I feel like midnight's come, and my carriage just turned back into a pumpkin, and I've traded in my glass slippers for a pair of tennis shoes, because <laughs> it's time to get back in the gym. Last chance workout. Let's go. Picking up speed. Kristen, too many people have gone home. I don't want you going home, you hear me? Yes, sir. Ron, I like you. I don't want you going anywhere. Felipe, I will kick your ass if you're anywhere near that yellow line. Visualize that scale. Visualize yourself up on that scale. Now visualize yourself up on that scale above the yellow line. That's what you're visualizing, into that third eye. Ready to go all the way to the end, right, Felipe? Yes, sir. Good. They took care of Sione. They voted him out last week, and they got rid of one of us. Sione went home last week with a four-pound weight loss. I just got to make sure they don't take care of me. Three. Mm. Press yourself all the way up. Press. Mm. Do it dig in. All the way down. Oh. All the way down. All the way down. All the way down. Hold it. Reach your arms forward. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oh. Come back down. Back down, Felipe. Back down. Oh. Last chance workout, Felipe. Let's go. Hold it. Eight, seven, six. If it killed you and I both, you're not going to go any <laughs> You drop it back down and you do it again. 10 second count. It is go time, and I'm going to work my people out until they bleed. Last chance workout, Ronnie. Down and lift. That's right. We're all in the same boat. You know, we're kind of all behind the eight ball as far as working out. Last chance workout. Down and lift. We really had to push through it today. Legs shaking, huh? Last chance workout. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I see the light. We are almost there. And I don't want to leave now. Like, for me, this is the time where the heat needs to be turned up. I mean, I need to give it everything that I've got. Five, last four, three, two, and one. That was your last chance workout. Good job. Thank you. I had this weird feeling about Laura. She's been complaining about her hip a lot more than usual. So I sent her to Dr. H to get it checked out, see what's going on. Usually, I'm right about this kind of thing, but I am praying that I'm wrong. My hip has been killing me. <laughs> I'm just feeling shooting pain all the time. I need to see Dr. Izinga to determine what's happening to me. This is a, a picture of your hip. And this is this really strong cortical bone. And right at the neck of your hip, you have 
a very early fracture there. We call it a, a stress fracture. In seven seasons, Laura's stress fracture of her hip is the most severe sports-related injury that we've seen. And you see that little black line right there? That's the beginning of a fracture. Now, it's not displaced, but if you were to get that, if you were to suffer a through and through fracture, we'd have to go into surgery. So we can't even take any remote chances with you. We're gonna take the most conservative approach possible for right now, anything that causes pain is verbose. This was just one of those unlucky episodes that happens when you're working out at professional athlete levels. What, what can we... Uh... Well, anytime she feels pain, that's a sign that that tiny little micro fracture could be at risk for movement, and we can't let that very susceptible area crack anymore. This increased impact running, not gonna be able to do it for three months. We've had some injuries here and there on the show. I mean, it's to be expected. But I've, I've never gotten news like this before from Dr. Azenga. This is gonna be the longest period that somebody is unable to perform significant calorie burning aerobic exercise. I'm thankful for the fact that I've made it this far, but it's like, why now? I'm so close to the end. It's like, I'm almost at the finish line and now everybody's just gonna pass me by in this race. We all have days and we're too busy to make it to the gym, but here's one exercise you can do at home when you're short on time but still need to get a quick burn in. Squat, curl, and press. Keep your legs slightly apart, back straight and core tight. Then just squat, curl, then stand up and press. Try doing that for the whole commercial break. How are you feeling, kid? You know, I'm really kind of nervous, Jill. I feel like if I just slip up just one day, I'm going to fall below again. And I don't want to do that. You remember us talking about metabolism, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I told you that your metabolism is your biochemistry, and your biochemistry functions with the right vitamins and the right minerals. So something like we're choosing milk instead of a soda pop, right. you know, something like this has nine essential nutrients. You know how long I've lectured you about potassium for blood right. pressure and stabilizing your electrolytes. You know how important calcium is and vitamin D for strong bones. Mm -hmm. You know how important protein is for upping your metabolism and gaining lean muscle to keep that metabolism revving. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be about making conscious choices here and at home. Jillian and I talked about how important it is to at least drink three glasses of milk a day, especially now that we're considered athletes. We need to replace those vitamins in the new nutrients and the proteins that we're losing because we're working out so hard. With the knowledge, you're able to make the right choices. Let's have our milk and let's hit the gym then. All right. Cheers, mama. Go! Last chance, go! Another one, go! Go, 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 go! You gotta work hard for that hot body. Come on, go! Last chance, Mike, come on. Up! It's no joke. Serious business. There's like no workout time this week. So of course, kill them in the last chance workout. Come on, push. Go, 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 go. Let me see what you got. Come on, up, up, up. Push. 
back in the gym with Jillian yelling at you. Last chance! Beautiful thing. Ah! They're going to sweat blood in the last chance workout. Ugh. Last chance! Ugh. All the way down. Good. Three more. This last chance workout for me is so different and so important. Backwards. Good. Last night, I revealed my new self to my mother. A new confidence, a new look. And now I'm going to this last chance workout, and I know that I'm going in there with a new mindset. Push. Jillian. Last chance workout, Tara. Bring it on. Abs up. Last chance, Tara. Breathe. I'm not scared. I welcome the challenge. Up. I want to be challenged right now. It's hard, isn't it? I know that it's getting more difficult, and I know that I need to be pushed. Doesn't come for free, Mama. Let's go. Oh. Up. I was like looking at Jillian, and she's like, "Get on, you know, do this and do that, and run faster." And I'm like, "I'm tired as hell, Jill, but I'll do it." This is gonna be hard. Oh, reach. Oh, tight. Beautiful. Five more. This last chance workout is the first serious workout we've had in a few days. It's a last ditch effort, and we all really, really need it. There is a sense of urgency right now. Drop. Good. Up, pop. One more. Come on, travel it over. Good, pop it. Last chance, Mama. Two more. Over. Go, come on, push. One more, push. Perfect, rest. That's incredible. Those are really hard. I can't believe how well you just did those. I can be strong when I want to be. <laughs> it just sometimes just get out of me. <laughs> That's impressive. That's really impressive. Coming into this weigh-in this week was definitely for Shione, and so I hope that my hard work proves on the scale. I'm nervous as always. The odds get stacked against you when there's less people. The chances of being below the yellow line are like 30% this week, and those aren't real good odds. So this is the final stage of Makeover Week. Tonight, you have one last task. You have to make it over the yellow line. All of you have had incredible results so far. The seven of you have lost a combined total of 765 pounds so far. Wow. Now it's time to see how you did this week. Mike, you have the chance tonight of breaking the record of most weight lost on campus. Roger Schultz lost 144 pounds in 15 weeks in Biggest Loser 5. You are five pounds away from breaking that record. It's time to get you on that scale and see if you did it. Walking up to the scale, I'm excited. Hopefully, I'll break the record that Roger put up. But it was makeover week this week, and I really didn't get a ton of time in the gym. Mike, when you first came to campus, you weighed 388 pounds. Your current weight is. Mike, when you first came to campus, you weighed 388 pounds. You have lost 140 pounds so far. You are five pounds away from breaking the all-time record of most weight lost on campus. I need to lose five pounds 
to break Roger's record. And, you know, I want to break the record, I'm not going to lie. And then I want to make sure that record's never broken. Your current weight is? You did it in 15 weeks, right? It's the same, exact same amount of time. Good, no asterisks. All right. No asterisks. That is your record, Mike. Very cool. You have set a new record of 145 pounds in 15 weeks. Congratulations. Thank you. I broke Roger's record, and I'm ecstatic. I mean, I could not be happier. Unfortunately, I'm the first one to weigh in, so I don't want to get too excited because I could still be below the O line. Okay, Mike, you lost five pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.02%. Okay, Ron, we're gonna get you on the scale next. I'm just hoping I lost weight. It's been a tough week for everybody. We were busy all week, didn't get a lot of chance to exercise. So I was just really hoping for the best. Ron, when you first came to campus, you weighed 430 pounds. Your current weight is? For this week, this is a good number. A little closer to being under three, so. When was the last time you were under 300? I know I was 200 pounds when I was nine. I know I was 352 pounds when I was 15. So somewhere in between those two ages, I weighed that. So you haven't felt this good since you were 13 years old? Well, my knees were probably in better shape then, but I haven't been this light since then. Congratulations, Ron. Well, thank you. I am extremely proud of my dad for losing six pounds this week. I haven't even been alive to see my dad the weight he is now, and I don't even think my mom was alive when he was in the 200s. Ron, you lost six pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.95%. There are five players left to weigh in. Tara, you're next. I'm uneasy about this week because of everything that's been happening. I try to be as prepared as possible, and I just hope that being prepared works. But then again, you never know. Tara, when you first came to campus, you weighed 294 pounds. Mm -hmm. In order to stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than three pounds. Your current weight is. That's great. So you're happy with four pounds? Yeah, because honestly, this has been one of those weeks where we basically didn't have as many days to work out. I figured, you know what? This is a good test. When I go home, I'm not going to have as much time, and I have to learn how to just deal with it. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Tara. Thank you. Right now, I know I'm safe. All my hard work is paying off. It just shows you how important one pound can be in this game. Tara, you have lost a total of 112 pounds since you first came to campus. Oh, that's nice. that's so good. You lost four pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 2.15%. Tara, with two players below you, you are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Congratulations. Felipe, we're going to weigh you in next. All right. Go, Felipe. It's a crucial weigh-in for me. This is the first time without Sione. This week, I definitely uh, dedicated to him. I did everything I could do, so I have really, really no regrets stepping on the scale tonight. Felipe, when you first came to campus, you weighed 364 pounds. And in order to stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than five pounds. So, Felipe, your current weight is. You lost five pounds. Yep. Not quite enough to get yourself safe from elimination just yet. All I need is one more pound. That's all Sione needed, and he went home. I'm thinking this is the same case for me. I hope not. When you're not safe, it's just the most uncomfortable feeling. 
Five pounds is great. Hopefully it's enough. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Felipe, this week you lost five pounds for a total percentage of weight loss of 1.98%. Mike, with two people below you, you are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Congratulations. Helen, we're going to weigh you in next. I was a nervous wreck getting up on that scale because I have this routine that the minute that I veer from it, I'm afraid I'm not going to lose the weight. Helen, when you first came to campus, you weighed 257 pounds. In order to stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than three pounds. Helen, your current weight is... 7 pounds after having such a hectic week, I mean, it does give you hope. It can be done at home. I can do this at home. I can take the 15 minutes that I have, the half an hour that I have, and work some sort of a workout routine into it. All right, Helen. You lost 7 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss. 4.14%. Finally, I took first. <laughs> Finally. With everyone below you, Helen, you are definitely safe from elimination tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Felipe, Ron, we have two people left to weigh in. You are still in danger of falling below the yellow line and being up for elimination tonight. Kristen, we're going to weigh you in next. Um, stepping up in that skill, it's so nerve-wracking after seeing everybody else. I'm blown away by these numbers. You just see what everyone else is doing, and you, you go over every step you've taken this week and think, is it enough? Kristen, you seem extremely nervous tonight. Is it that obvious? <laughs> I found that anytime I broke routine, I've seen bad results on the scale, and this was not a normal week. Kristen, when you first came to campus, you weighed 360 pounds. And in order to stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than four pounds. Kristen, your current weight is... All of a sudden, I see a minus two. And right then and there, I know I'm below the yellow line. That's it. I'm below the yellow line. Not surprised. It's disappointing. Yes. Makeover for me was a great day of reflection, but 
I still have a long way to go. I still have a lot of work to do. I'm not ready to leave yet. Thanks, Kristen. Kristen, you lost two pounds this week. For total percentage of weight loss, 0.82%. With one person left to weigh in, Kristen, I am sorry to tell you that you are definitely below the yellow line, and you are going to be up for elimination tonight. Felipe, with two people below you, you are definitely safe from elimination. You have one more week on campus. Congratulations. Ron, we have one person left to weigh in. So it will either be you or Laura below the yellow line tonight with Kristen. Laura, let's get you up on that scale. I know it's been a tough week for you. Having this fractured hip is just really set me back this week. I can't put any weight on my leg. So going up to the scale this week, I'm just praying that I didn't get like a plus 10. Oh, I can't, I can't, actually can't, well, I can't, I can't watch this. <laughs> it's heartbreaking because here's a girl that was a mess when she got here. And then really began to turn things around and commit herself and believe in herself and to make a change physically and emotionally. And right when we're in that sweet spot, this happens. It's just, it's kind of, it's kind of devastating. Laura, how are you feeling? Not good. Because I haven't really done anything this week. I haven't been able to. Laura, in order to stay safe from elimination tonight, you need to have lost more than four pounds. When you first started this competition, you weighed 285 pounds. And you are five pounds away from hitting 200. Laura, your current weight is. Laura, your current weight is 208 pounds. You gained three pounds this week. Killed myself last week to get eight. Everything you do here makes a difference. The makeover definitely changed me. I mean, not only physically, but just made me realize how far I've come. And I have come really far here. I never th thought I would make it this far and lose as much weight as I have. I feel horrible for her. She just can't get a break. And she, she wants this. This is a bad situation because of course, I don't want to see Laura go home, but I know that it's probably for the best for her. Jill, you've helped Laura lose 77 pounds in 15 weeks. I guess I thought it'd be easier. You know, like I, like I could prepare them, you know, <laughs> prepare myself. It's not, it's not, it's actually not that easy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You are amazing. And you have come so far. You should be so, be so proud of yourself right now. And you didn't quit. You never quit. You just got injured. There's nothing you could do about it. And everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay, Laura. You gained three pounds this week for a total percentage of plus 1.46%. Which means, Laura, you are definitely below the yellow line, up for elimination with Kristen tonight. 
and it is up to everyone else to decide who's going to be going home. Jill, Bob, it's time for you guys to say goodnight. Okay. It's obvious that emotions are running high tonight, and you have a lot to talk about. I'll see you all in an hour with your decision. Good luck. Coming up. You guys know that I want to be here. A difficult choice divides the house. I'm begging you not to take the cowardly way out. Do not be afraid because you think that maybe I'm a bigger threat to you. Honestly, for me to keep Kristen in this house, it could be the biggest mistake I would ever make. You guys know that I want to be here. You do? Yeah. If I'm still here next week, I'm going to do what I can to lose weight. But I know that I have a major injury. And if I don't take care of it, then it could mean serious surgery for me. I think I'm in denial about it a little bit. I mean, I could just hop around and be OK. But um, I want to be here. So I want you guys to just vote as if I was not injured. Just norm do what you would normally do. I'm going to be OK no matter what. Like, I know what you guys are thinking. There is a huge gameplay decision here. You know with Laura's injury that if she stays here, she's going to struggle week after week after week. And at the very beginning of this journey, we sat in this very spot and we made decisions for people based on who needed to be here. I am here because I was a very sick person. I was a girl who weighed 360 pounds. I'm not here because I want to win $250,000. I'm not here because I want to fit in a bikini. I'm not here because I want to go to clubs. I'm here because I want to be healthy and I want to start a family. I'm 243 pounds. There are women who start this journey at that weight. I still need to be here. I still have a lot of weight to lose and I'm begging you, I'm begging you not to take the cowardly way out. Do not be afraid because you think that maybe I'm a bigger threat to you. I'm just begging you to please keep me here. It means so much to me. Well, thank you guys. We uh, appreciate all the words you said. And we'll talk amongst ourselves what will be best. Thank you. Laura, I think, is scared right now. But I also know that in the past few weeks, she's really come into her own. And I'm not saying that Kristen's not deserving, because Kristen is. Kristen is an amazing person, and she deserves this, just as every single one of us deserve this. This isn't about who deserves to be here and why they want to be here. This is about fixing Laura. This is big. You know, she can't get the help she needs here. 
she can't. You know what? She was in the kitchen trying to cook herself breakfast or lunch or whatever it was today. Everybody said they would help her, but she wanted to do it herself. She's exactly what she said. She's in denial on what's going on with her. What this poor girl supposed to do? I don't know what she's supposed That's to do. That's what's so upsetting. It is upsetting, and it's upsetting to me, too. This isn't about keeping her so we can support her and say, oh, poor Laura will push you around. I would do that every day I'd push her around if I thought that was going to be the case. But she's not going to get that help here. This has to be about fixing her. This has to be about what's the best thing for her. That's what I'm saying. She has more support here than she does at home. She, but she's not, no, I'm sorry, she's not going to get better care here than she would at home. Do you know what disservice you're doing to her if you don't let her go take care of this? I've been through this with this hip. You want to see the scar on the side? You want to give that to her? Because that's what's going to no, happen. Of course I don't. Well, that's what's going to happen if she stays here. Because it's not going to get better. She needs to get better. She needs rest and she needs rehab every day. Every day. Tara's really fighting for Laura to stay. I really don't want to believe that Tara is being selfish and wanting Laura to stay here for the extra vote. You know, if I was looking at it from gameplay and stuff, I'd want Kristen to go because she's standing in his way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she, yeah, she is. You're right. All right. But it's past that. It's, I, all I'm looking at right now is what's going to be the best thing for Laura. And I know that it isn't here. I know which way you're going to go because you actually adore Kristen and that's fine. And I do, just, it listen, I do adore Kristen and there was no way I would ever write her name on a piece of paper. I know, but this so is I understand what that. you're doing and it's no, no, absolutely no, no, fine. No, 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 no. Honestly, for me to keep Kristen in this house, it could be the biggest mistake I would ever make. She's a huge competitor, a big threat, and she can beat me in the end. This elimination decision is going to be very difficult for me. Let's say we send Kristen home and keep Laura there because she needs the support and help. You know for a fact, if you keep her in this house, she's not going to sit still. She's a, she's, a, she's a worker. She's going to get in that pool. She's going to work out. Then she cracks her hip, and then she's done. Then what would we say? That was it, was it worth it? I don't know. I just don't know. It's, this is a tough decision. The Biggest Loser transformation moment. See how the eliminated player looks today. The Biggest Loser Club, it's changing lives. To know that I could possibly be going home tonight is really hard. The fact that I have this injury and can't do anything about it just sucks. I hope I've made enough of an impact here for people to keep me here. Because in all reality, I know they shouldn't. I know that the people that are voting tonight want to make it to the end just as bad as I do. Kristen and Laura fell below the yellow line. There are five people who are voting tonight, so it takes three votes to eliminate someone. Tara, we're going to start with you. The past 15 weeks with both of you have been absolutely amazing. Laura, I've grown so close to you, and I would never in a million years want to lose you. And I know that this has set you back, but I know you're going to overcome it. And Kristen, 
every single day you make me smile. You know, you're such a good, warm person. And I, I love you. And that's why this is so difficult. But at the same time, I know my partner needs to be here and get through this. And I know I need to be there to support her because I know if she goes home, there's not as much support there for her. And that's why I voted for Kristen. Okay, Kristen, that's one vote for you. If you receive two more, you will be eliminated. Ron. These things are never easy. You know, one of these people, Kristen, I've known since day one, getting here. Laura, I didn't get to really know until just about three weeks ago. And I have to tell you, she's probably one of the most sincere, wonderful people that any dad would be proud to call a daughter. She's just a wonderful, wonderful person. You know, from a gameplay standpoint, the right thing to do would be to let Kristen go. She's a huge threat here. She's standing in the way of my son. But you know, it's not about that right now. Laura needs to get better, and this isn't the environment for that. The right thing to do for me is to let Laura go and get better. Okay, Laura, that's one vote for you. Kristen, you have one vote. Whoever receives two more votes will be eliminated. Mike, you're next. You know, I've grown so close to the both of you over these past weeks, but it's hard for me to look past smart decisions because Kristen is the biggest threat in the house. But at the same time, Laura is the person who has a major injury. You know, it's not the next few weeks, it's the next years of your life that matter. And that's why I voted to send Laura. Okay, Laura, that's two votes for you. If you receive one more vote, you will be eliminated. Kristen, you have one vote. Helen. I love both of you so much. You're both like daughters to me. Kristen, you just bring laughter and sunshine into the house, and your strength has just been incredible here. And Laura, God, you know how I feel about you. I just love you to death. I want to take care of you every minute that I can. And I hate that this happened to you. I really do. I just want you to be strong, and I want you to get better. I really do. It's so hard for me to make this decision because I don't want to let you go. So my decision was to send Kristen home. OK, Kristen, that's two votes for you. Laura, you have two votes. Whoever receives this final vote will be eliminated. Felipe. You know, Laura, I love you a lot. Kristen's my sister. She's always been there from day one for me. So uh, that's why I voted for Laura to go home. Laura, you are dealing with a sports injury. And just like any good athlete, you have to take time to recover and then get back in the game. The Biggest Loser is prepared to help you do that. You're not going home alone. We have amazing doctors who are going to be with you to help you every step of the way. Thank you. This is something you have to take care of. This is, as they said, the rest of your life. And remember, you are in it for $100,000 with all the at-home players. So you have a lot to look forward to, and I know everyone here can't wait to see you in May. When I arrived at the Biggest Loser Ranch, I weighed 285 pounds, and now I weigh 208 pounds. I know that having a hip fracture is not going to stop me from reaching my goals. Why are you here? I'm here to realize that I deserve it all. And what is all of it? The life that I've been dreaming about. you
Going home with this new confidence and new respect for myself, I think that it's gonna be a start of a new life for me. America, the next time you see me, I will be pain-free, injury-free, and living the life I always dreamed of. Before The Biggest Loser, I wasn't happy with my life. And I was desperately needing to have a change, to feel like a different person. And now I'm excited to live my life and loving the fact that I look good and feel better about myself. Right before I left to come home, I found out that I have a stress fracture in my hip. Today I'm meeting with Dr. Heizinga and Dr. Mink to see how I've been healing. This is the world's expert on all things bone, so uh, oh, wow. I think we've come to the right place, okay? okay? So this is your old study. This is your new study. Everywhere in this hip, things are going in exactly the right direction. I'm glad I'm getting better, definitely. Sure. Go ahead and lift your leg up. Any pain? Lisa is my physical therapist, and she is helping me rehabilitate my legs so that I can be, you know, up and running like normal, hopefully within the next few months. Nice tight abs. Stay strong here, stay strong here. Laura is definitely on the road to achieving all of her goals. She'll get there. She'll definitely get there. The fact that I've been able to maintain my weight loss with this injury has been a huge accomplishment for me. Good, let's go hit the spin bike, come on. I really hope that this will send a message to America that no matter what excuse, you can lose the weight or even just maintain weight. I love my new life. I can't believe that how much losing 77 pounds can do for somebody. The Biggest Loser has definitely changed my life forever.